Welcome to this video on list processing in Scheme. This video is based on materials created by Professor Mark Kavatsa of the University of Greenwich and is presented by me, Andy Wicks. Let's have a look at what we're going to get into today. The first two commands we're going to look at are cons and append. Both of these work on pairs. Cons adds an item at the front of a list. So the first item is what you want to add at the front, and the second item is a list. Append works in the opposite direction. It adds an item at the end of a list. So the first item is the list, and then you put what you want to add to that list after that. Neither changes the original list. So it doesn't matter what you do to this particular list, it stays the same. But the result of what happens is different. Therefore, if you have a command like cons prof prof, what it will do is take what's after the single quote, which is taken as a literal atom, and add it to the list prof. So let's see that working. But you'll notice that prof will remain unchanged. So let's move over to scheme. You'll notice that this time I'm using the definitions part of the screen. Here we're going to define a constant called prof. Prof is a list that contains the letters of Mark Kavatsa, but this list is really a tree. It's the atom M, then a pair, AR. A pair is a small list of two items, then two atoms, C and C. And then there's a list that contains a list. And at the end are the two atoms, Z, A. Now, if I try and run this, absolutely nothing will happen. You'll notice that nothing's occurred because we haven't got a command. So if I ask it to do something, like print out the value of prof, then we get a result. So what we get is our list, Mark Kavatsa. But what happens if we use cons and append? Well, let's have a look at those. Here, I've added in the cons, which will put prof in front of the list. And I've appended a smiley face to the end of prof. However, since a closing bracket has a meaning in scheme, I have to use slash closing bracket so that it knows that this isn't a real closing bracket. This is an escape character, very similar to the system that's used in Python. Now, if I run that, what I get is the cons produces prof Mark Kavatsa. I get Mark Kavatsa and a smiley face. And you'll notice that the original definition of prof has remained unchanged. Now, let's go back and see what happens with other functions that we can use when processing lists. The staple diet of list processing is car and cudder. Car stands for contents of the address part of the register, and cudder stands for contents of the decrement part of the register. And how often will you need to know what these stand for? Not a lot. So let's have a look at what these produce. What we have is a list and a list is always split into two parts. The first item, whatever that is, whether it's an atom, a pair, or a list, that first item is the car. And the remainder of whatever's in the list is the cudder. There is one item that you need to know. The very last atom in every list is the null atom. And that will become important in a little bit. So let's consider this list. Here we have that list that we looked at earlier, Mark Kavatsa, and the car is that M, just the M, whereas the cudder is that final part of the list. In this case, it's another list. So a car, in this case, is an atom, and the cudder is a list. But we can get cleverer than that. We can make these work together. So, for example, we could have the car of the cudder of prof, 
So what does that give? Well, let's break this down logically. What we get is the innermost brackets are calculated first. So the cutter of prof, we know from the previous example, gives us arc cavatza. And if we take the car of that, the first item that in that list is the pair AR. So now we take the car of that cut a bit and we get the pair AR. Now let's see that working in scheme. So here we have our definition of that tree prof and if we do the commands that we were talking about in the previous slide what we get is the car of prof, the cutter of prof and the car of the cutter of prof. And if I run this the car of prof gives M. The cutter of prof gives the list arc cavatza and the car of the cutter of prof gives the pair ar now we can make this a little easier there is a little trick let me show you we can abbreviate nested cars and cudders you'll notice that both car and cudder start with a c and end with an r the difference between them is that middle carrot and the and you can create a command by putting those characters together in the order in which they appear. So we've got the car of the cudder of prof, so it's A, then D, inserted between the C and R. And if we run this, you'll notice that the output is exactly the same. In either case, we get the pair A, R. Now let's go back to that presentation. The question then becomes, what do we do if we want lots of cars and cudders? Well, you can't use that shortened form for any more than four cars or cudders together. That's the maximum. If you want to go longer than that, then you've got to repeat the car of, the car of, the cudder of, the car of, and so on. And that gets pretty boring. So in this case, we can use either list ref, which is the equivalent of car, but starting in a particular place. And we can use list tail, which is the cudder, again, working backwards from the end of the list. So let's see how this would work. Numbering always starts at zero in computing. That hasn't changed. So if we say list ref prof, what we get is the capital C, because that is the fourth item. That beginning M is the first, the pair AR is the second, the little c is the third, and that capital C is the fourth item. M is zero, the pair AR is one, the little c is two, and the capital C, that's the three. And we can do the opposite from the opposite end. Because we're going in the opposite direction, we have to take one off. Let me show you. Here we have our tree prof defined, and we're going to do the list ref prof 3 and the list tail prof 4. So let's run that using control and R, and what we get is a capital C, and we get that end part avatza. Now, what happens if we want to get to that V? How would we navigate there? And that's a problem that you'll often come across in list processing, because you need to navigate the tree. And what you do is you do it slowly. Let me explain. Here we have our list tail prof 4. So if I run this, control and R, what I get is that list at the beginning that contains the V that I'm after. Because it's at the beginning, what I want is the car of that. So let's have a go at that. Here I'm taking the car of that list tail. And what I get is that list that's at the beginning. Now I need to get to that end part. I want the VA bit. So now I have to take the cudder of that. So if I take the cudder of the car of the list tail, what I get is a list that contains the pair VA and the atom Z. Now what I want again, I can see, is the very first item. So I want the car of that. Here I have the car of, the cudder of, the car of, the list tail. We'd never write this normally. And when I run it, what I get is just that VA part. Now what I'm after is that V. So now all I have to do is to take the car of that. Here is that car of what we had before. And when I run this, what I should get is the V. And lo and behold, 
I do. Things are looking good, but we can make this a little easier. As you know, we can concatenate the cars and the cutters in the same way as we could on the list before. So let's have a look at doing that. What I want is the C A A D A R because that's the order in which the cars and the cutters appear in our command. And when I run that, what I should get is exactly the same as the command above. And that's what I get. I get that V. So whilst these commands look incredibly confusing, the trick is to do it one item at a time. The slower you work, the faster you will get there. And whilst this looks complicated at first, once you've worked through a few examples, it does actually get reasonably logical. 